Hey everyone, this is Bola Halabi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about how to plan and pay for college. If you live in America, you know already that the cost of college is expensive in this country. There are millions of Americans that are under the duress or distress brought about by college tuition loan. I don't want this to be your case and that's why I'm sharing this uh, message how to plan and pay for college. I found myself in a similar situation uh, under the stress of college loan about seven years ago when I took about $18,000 to go to college and after a year the $18,000 grew to about $25,000. This made me panic and I worked hard to pay off my last dime to Sally Mae. So from my experience and from talking to many other people that have successfully paid off all their student loan, I was able to gather five tips that I want to share with you. The first one is, especially if you are a parent, if you want to send your children or child to college someday, this will help you. So number one, start early. Uh, starting early is the best part to being ready for college. Because let's say when you have your child from day one, you started saving $50 each month for, towards college for that child. By the time the child is ready for college, the $50 per month would have grown to over $25,000. That's if you are uh, realizing uh, an, an interest of a return of about 8% uh, per annum. If you can uh, do more than $50, let's say you are able to save $100 every, every month, for 18 years at 8% uh, return on investment, you will have close to $50,000 saved by the time your child is ready for college. That may not pay all the uh, money that you need for college, but at least it will get you started. At least it will help you to avoid getting $50,000 loan for your child uh, when he or she is ready for college. So number one, start early open up uh, a 529 college savings uh, account or education savings account and start putting money in there every month and by the time your child is ready for college you are also ready to pay for college so that's number one number two is that you have to strive for academic excellence there are many scholarships that are open for high performing students so what do i mean by this Please encourage your child to aim for haze. Encourage and motivate them so that they will perform very well in their academics. Performing very well in their academics will help position them to obtain all these uh, different scholarships that are based on merit for students. So encourage them, work with them. Uh, academic excellence is a parent-children partnership so work with your child or children and help them to so that they can succeed in future there are several ways you can do this uh, one way is that uh, SAT make sure that they score very high in their SAT the good thing about SAT or ACT is that they can try it several times before they finally submit their results to college so number two aim for academic excellence Number three, you have to be flexible. I remember uh, initially uh, my dream has been to, oh, my child is going to go to one of these Ivy League. That is still a dream for me. I still want that for my uh, children, uh, but I also have to stay flexible because Ivy League does not guarantee success in life. You can go to a state school, you, got, you can go to a community college and still be able to achieve excellence. Let's think about this. What's the purpose of education? Why are we sending all these children to college in the first place? Think about that. So you are not sending them to Ivy League college just because of the name. You want them to 
obtain the education so that they will be well-rounded and they will be ready to go out there in the society and compete. So look for a good state school around you sometimes. If you are going to go to, if your child will go to a state school and only take about $10,000 in loan versus going to Ivy League school where he or she will take about $120,000 loan, I will strongly advise that you consider the $10,000 uh, school because let's think about this if maybe a, for a medical doctor if you are a patient in the hospital you will not ask your doctor which school did you graduate from so uh, school the Ivy League these schools are great I'm not uh, depreciating their value in any way but what I'm saying is that success has nothing to do with the type or kind of school that your child attend so number four cut down your living expenses think about this as a parent you have all sorts of bills to pay your phone bill your utility bill your car insurance there are all these multiple bills that you have to keep up with every month so if you can cut down all your living expenses you'll be able to save up some money so that you can help your child towards college so another tip is cut down your living expenses and number five the last but not the least you need to sharpen your research skills so there are all sort of informations out there you must be able to position yourself such that you are tapping into this information there are a lot of scholarship thousands of scholarship that your child or children can tap into help them research with them so that they can apply and Let's see if they can qualify for this scholarship. Let them apply eight hours every day for scholarship. Or if they apply for a thousand, maybe at the end they will get like 30 uh, of this scholarship. So research, find information, talk to people, and go to these schools that you want to apply to. Let them uh, get info attend their information section so that they will be well guided uh, before applying to those colleges. And uh, that's it. Five tips that will help you to plan and pay for college. Number one, you need to start early. Number two, you need to stay flexible. You do not have to go to Ivy League college. You can consider in-state colleges. Number three, strive for academic excellence. The higher you can score in your SAT or ACT, the higher your chances of getting uh, into some of these colleges. Number four, you need to cut down uh, your living expenses so that you can save up some money to, uh, towards helping your child uh, to pay for uh, his or um, college uh, tuition. And number five, the last but not the least, uh, sharpen your research skills. There are tons of information out there. Tap into this information find those things that will be beneficial to you and uh, use them. Ultimately, my goal is that uh, you should win with your finances. I do not want you to be under the, uh, the stress uh, caused by huge student loan that we've seen in this country. And I hope you take this information and run with it. Thank you. Again, this is Bola Halabi. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We want to start growing this channel. We want to start attracting more people. And our goal is to help people in their career and personal finances. Thank you.